have a lot of different networks. Excellent. Hard. I can travel all over the country and have a place to stay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Heart with no name. Yes. Anybody else? I, I love the uh, the power of the simplicity of this exercise. Mm -hmm. Just two simple questions, just yeah. like like a volcano if you drop. <laughs> Generosity. Variety. Radical center. Exchange. People are, are close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have what we need. I have to say, I, I woke up this morning and I read something on the CNN application and it wasn't good for, for this country and for our countries, Latin American countries too. So this is, for me, this is a real gift because give me hope, like, oh yeah, exchange and uh, uh, to, see, to get to see people with open mind and the, the, the diversity of all cultures getting together. Yeah. I like a communal courage. Mm. 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 I want all these people in my life all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hospitality in Minneapolis, right? uh, <laughs> and, and India, and India. And India. <laughs> we're, we're coming. We're all right. <laughs> okay. um, it feels like, I mean, I have one thing to add, it's like beyond survival, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Kind of abundance beyond survival, and um, the kind of um, uh, deep roots. Mm. Yes. I made up a word yesterday called thrival. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you all. Thank you, Betsy. Mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. because this is her call to action um, and I think that as we're thinking about going forward from here something that will resonate it resonates with me and she says I'm still the Lipan Jamana land-grant mongrel nobody sees 
nobody recognizes an invisibility, scudding through all the checkpoints, border towns, train tracks, pesticide flybys, welfare lines. Wings shifting shape, scorpions venom injects me for the night. Green light spasms and the click click delete cut past, fucking do something, do something <laughs> different. An organ orgasm of light at the slippery edge, one good time to die and live spreading like osmosis. Tripping grandmother rabbit on the moon, always with that sorrowful look on her face, make the medicine, be artistic, and do what is necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. types of gatherings and I appreciate the fact that the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation, that New England Foundation for the Arts, yeah. that um, Ethics and Common Good Project, that Alternate Roots, um, that HowlRound and others understand this need and um, see it as an opportunity. Um, it's more often challenged than um, uh, being curious Support. about it. Supported, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so I, not enough words can really express that gratitude. Um, I hope others can share in the expression of that gratitude, however they see fit, to those organizations that have supported this in any way you can. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, Sita for doing this beautiful work. structures. Um, we have a company, uh, people who are dedicated for years of being a part of this, but we also inside of that have an ensemble of people that are here for much longer than years who take on a very large commitment to making sure this place exists and thrives and does it quite uh, tirelessly and quietly in the, sometimes in the background and sometimes on stage. Um, so I want to acknowledge this ensemble. I want to uh, say a very special thank you and acknowledgement uh, to Stacy for starting Double Edge and for having um, the seed, this vision of a place that uh, is becoming and is what it is. Um, I want it, that acknowledgement to extend to Carlos as well, um, uh, my teachers, my friends, my colleagues for everything that you both have done and that you do. Um, I want to um, thank all of you, the participants. I want to especially thank Nick for uh, co-leading this and co-organizing this. Um, so thank you very much.
few thoughts. I want to I want to say that I was most moved yesterday by the love that was here. When people started to arrive here, I uh, I got a real good feeling because I was like, oh, we've gathered a bunch of lovers. <laughs> and that, um, that love started with Matthew's um, real trust of uh, trusting me to do this with you, and I appreciate that. And the trust that I always feel in this space from all of the double edgers. And I thought yesterday we really held the difficulty in the room with love. And there were lots of sticky things we talked about yesterday, and I think there's still things that we have to always unpack. But it's really, it was um, beautiful to be in a room where people would hold that conversation with love and with honesty, and felt open enough to say hard things to people, and to follow up with folks. And I, I was moved by that. Um, Matthew had been um, writing me for many years, asking me to come and work with this woman, Reina Mavechka, here. And I had told him no a couple times. And he, uh, he, he was persistent, <laughs> as he is. Mm -hmm. And I accepted an invitation to come here at a time when uh, it was a really hard time in my life. And I had no idea why I was coming here. <clears throat> and Stacy got right, came right up to me and told me something that has all changed the course of a lot of things for me, which was, she said, I observed that you have things to give and training that you don't give that you hold back. Um, and my response to that was, I'm trying to pay attention to what the room needs and what everybody else needs. Um, and Stacy said, it's not your job to worry about what everybody else needs if you're not giving everything you can. Because if you are not your full self, then everyone else cannot be their full selves as well. And that was a real gift for me. It set me on a course of the last couple years of my life to try to bring my full self but the reason it was hard for me is that it ran counter to something my mom always told me. <laughs> Every time I always tried to talk to my mother about how I know about sexism and everything, my mom would be like, you don't know anything about sexism. Like, you're, you have to be aware of the privilege your body brings into the room. And so it's, been, it's a dance. And it finally made sense to me yesterday when DePunker said, we don't all start imagining from the same place. Radical imagination, some people have more of a privilege to be radical. And so this, for me, I'm weaving together these two notions of being your full self, but understanding that for some of our bodies, being radical means taking ourselves out of the spotlight or out of the work sometimes um, and, and reducing what we bring to the room. So I, I'm, I'm alive and again by the spark you sent to me and the, 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 the notion that you put in the room yesterday to think about those things for myself. That's what I'm leaving with. And um, this thing about Radical imagination yesterday, Nicole Garneau asked us to do, uh, to practice revolutionary behavior by encouraging one another just to get behind somebody. And, and she said, the person in front of you is likely the person who's going to bring about this change you want to see in the world. So why don't you lean over and whisper to them a few words of encouragement. <laughs> um, and she shared this with me, and I, I, I both understand the world through the the words of the poet. So I just want to leave us with these words by uh, Martin Espada. Mm. Imagine the angels of bread. This is the year that squatters evict landlords, mm -hmm. gazing like admirals from the rail of the roof deck of le or levitating hands in praise of steam in the shower. This is the year that shawl refugees deport judges who stare at the floor in their swollen feet as files are stamped with their destination. This is the year that police revolvers, stove hot, blister the fingers of raging cops and nightsticks splinter in their palms. This is the year that dark-skinned men lynched a century ago returned to sip coffee quietly with the apologizing descendants of their executioners. This is the year that those who swim the borders undertow and shiver in boxcars are greeted with trumpets and drums mm -hmm. at the first railroad crossing on the other side. This is the year that the hands pulling tomatoes from the vine uproot the deed to the earth that sprouts the vine. The hands canning tomatoes are named in the will that owns the bedlam of the cannery. This is the year that the eyes stinging from the poison that purifies toilets, awaken at last 
the site of a rooster loud hillside, hmm. pilgrimage of immigrant birth. This is the year that cockroaches become extinct. <laughs> <laughs> that no doctor finds a roach embedded in the ear of an infant. This is the year that the food stamps of adolescent mothers are auctioned like gold doubloons, and no coin is given to buy machetes for the next bouquet of severed heads in coffee plantation country. If the abolition of slave manacles began as a vision of hands without manacles, then this is the year. Mm -hmm. If the shutdown of the extermination camps began as imagination of a land without barbed wire or the crematorium, then this is the year. Mm -hmm. If every rebellion begins with the idea that conquerors on horsebacks are not many-legged gods, that they too drown if plunged in the river, then this is the year. So may every humiliated mouth, teeth like desecrated headstones, fill with the angels of bread. Mm -hmm. um, and that is Martine Espada. What's the name of it? Imagine the angels of bread. Mm -hmm. So just give thanks for everyone mm. and Nicole for sharing that. Um, I know we have to move to logistical space, but I would really appreciate it if we close down this space with a couple breaths together. Yeah. So if everyone could stand as you're able. And, um, yeah, we can perform as best we are able. One second. Just try to squeeze in. All your intentions, all the good, all the 32 years of double edge, all the love, all the food, all the things that are held in this space. Well, men, on the count of three, we're going to blow into our hands and we're going to shoot that up into this room. Elise Witt says that every, every song you ever sing, sound lasts in the universe forever. <laughs> I say the truth, the same is true for intention. So put a good intention on the count of three into your hand. We're going to blow it to this pavilion and then we're going to close down this space. One, two, three. Ashe, amen, give thanks. Mm -hmm.